tracking the movement of Earth's water, resupplying the International Space Station, and our administrator testifies about the agency's proposed budget. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. And liftoff of GRACE follow-on. The twin satellites for the GRACE follow-on, or GRACE FO mission, launched May 22nd from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base. A joint mission with the German Research Center for Geosciences, GRACE FO will observe the continuous movement of water and other changes in Earth's mass on and beneath the planet's surface to help us better understand our planet. This mission will continue the work of the original GRACE mission, which ended science operations in October 2017. GRACE FO launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with five Iridium Next communications satellites as part of a commercial rideshare arrangement. Orbital ATK's Cygnus cargo spacecraft arrived at the International Space Station May 24th with about 7,400 pounds of equipment, cargo, and supplies to support dozens of the more than 250 investigations underway on the orbital laboratory. The Cygnus, which launched three days earlier from our Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, also delivered new experiments ranging from investigations on emergency navigation to ultra-cold atom research. This is Orbital ATK's ninth contracted cargo resupply mission to the station. On May 23rd, our Administrator Jim Bridenstine testified before the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science and Related Agencies about the fiscal year 2019 funding request and budget justification for NASA. Getting back to the moon uh, with soft landings for the purpose of an eventual human return to the moon uh, is the objective to establish American leadership and utilize resources of the moon to ultimately take us to Mars and beyond. The President's request of almost $20 billion for NASA provides resources to advance exploration of the moon and deep space and pursue the cutting-edge science and aeronautics technology breakthroughs at the core of our mission. The names of more than 1.1 million Earthlings will travel aboard our Parker Solar Probe on its upcoming mission to travel closer to our sun than any spacecraft ever has before. A memory card with the names is mounted on a plaque dedicated to the mission's namesake, heliophysicist Eugene Parker, who first theorized the existence of the solar wind. The mission is scheduled to launch July 31st from our Kennedy Space Center in Florida. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.